The fourth game of the day tips off at 5 o'clock on TNT. It's the fifth seed St. Mary's Gales going up against the fourth seed UConn Huskies. Uh, I think this will be a pretty good game. Uh, you, St. Mary's is coming off a 12-point win versus VCU. Uh, I really thought that would be a tighter game. I thought VCU was maybe going to pull the upset. Uh, obviously, that didn't happen. St. Mary's pulled it out. Uh, they're led by Logan Johnson and Mitchell Saxon. Mitchell Saxon. Uh, combined, they led the team in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks this season. So they're good. They're the leaders of the team. I don't want to say they carry the team because they got better scores uh, than Mitchell Saxon, but he's very he's a force to be reckoned with. Um, they won the West Coast Conference this year. They're a very, very good basketball team. They went 27-7. and seven. Um, And UConn, on the other hand, UConn's coming off a pretty easy win versus Iona. They won by uh, 24 points against Rick Pitino's team. They really pulled away in the second half. I remember it was close for a little bit. Uh, they're led by big man Adam Sonogo. He averages 17-7. and seven. He's a force in the paint. And last game versus Iona, he had 28-13. and 13. Uh, So it should be a good battle between Saxon and uh, Sonogo. Should really get in there and get after it. They both have really good games, I think. But I got UConn winning this game. I think it'll be close to play like the last 12 minutes. I think it'll be three quarters of the game will be close and competitive. And then I think UConn's going to pull away. Uh, St. Mary's will probably have some fouls, some turnovers. UConn's going to go on a run and in that game. ESPN has UConn as well, 70.3%. St. Mary's, they only got 29.7%. And Vegas has UConn favored by four points as well. I got the Huskies moving on to the Sweet 16. I think it'll be it'll be a challenge, but it won't be a super competitive, tight, difficult battle for UConn and the Huskies.